for being here. This is Sunrise and we are, we are about to start the program in earnest and we're going to be looking about the campaign against hate speeches. Um, hate speech and the negative effect it has on political discourse and national unity is in the spotlight after President Muhammad Buhari pledged in his 21st of August address to root out purveyors of divisive speech in the country. To this end, the broadcast industry has thrown its weight behind this effort through enhanced regulation, but increasingly the role of political actors is being scrutinized in the effort to protect national harmony. Like someone said before we went on air, if you haven't done anything that you shouldn't do, why should you bother? To help us dissect this, it's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Kazim Akinriti, who is Assistant Director, News, Voice of Nigeria. Good morning. Good morning. And nice we expect to be joined by Mr. Martin Zoloja, who is the editor over at The Guardian. Yes, sir. So, purveyors of hate speech. Right. It has suddenly become rampant. And some media houses actually take stuff that can be regarded as hate speeches. The um, broadcast, <laughs> broadcast Commission has now decided that any station, be it radio or television, that broadcasts anything that can be regarded as such will be sanctioned. My question is, there are so many radio and television stations across the nation. Is this a doable objective? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, absolutely. First of all, let's look at the, the word it's, you know, speech and then the purveyors. Uh, his speech has to do with something that is injurious to national harmony, uh, something that is also injurious to individual liberty, freedom, and of course, uh, something that is in a bad taste and that is not decent. We all, we all know it. And the consequences of his speech are quite horrendous. We had uh, what happened in Rwanda, and then we must be extremely careful. Since the broadcast media is extremely very, very, you know, uh, highly important and uh, dangerous. I think that for clarity, yeah. you need to tell us what happened in Uganda so that we will understand. No, no, in Rwanda, in Rwanda, Rwanda there, was a, there was a program, a, a journalist, where over 100 people were killed because of careless statements utterance on a radio station. And you could see how Rwanda was going through that program and the international community were concerned, all effort were judged was that. Because someone made a careless statement on radio. And because which then led, which to, then the led to the genocide. And of course, and we have seen the traces of these kind of hate speeches in Nigeria since 2015, the last election. And it's not that the rules are not really there for us, you know, the guys' hate speeches on, on broadcast media. The NBC code is quite clear. The code is quite clear. Both the section on the broadcasting standard and also the section that talked about programming and even news, types of news, discussion programs, it was explicitly stated. And there are, there are consequences and sanctions for it. Sanction for the first sanction A, B, first sanction A, first sanction B, third C. You know, I brought the code so that we can put this in perspective. We can know that there is a guide, there is a rule guiding the, um, the broadcast industry, mm -hmm. which we need actually to go into. So, so how come, if this already exists, yes. how come uh, in 2015 yes. we had so much venom spewing out of politicians yeah. towards yeah. each other? Uh, of course, you see, that has been the, the, what, what we see uh, during the political era. It has been part of us for, for quite a while. But because, you know, there have been what is called a little a subtle political interference in the rules of uh, the NBC, in Canada's rules. But that was actually the focus of my thesis. And I've argued there, there's, there's a need for media regulation. Part of media regulation is what NBC is doing. But at, at that time, NBC couldn't come in hard very early. They did that towards the end when there were a lot of concerns by stakeholders and the rest. But if in the first instance when it happened, there had been sanction 
for that particular station, so the middle that were running all the